will try to do it in 15 minutes. Or so, so. Get with it. You know, my background is in auditing, uh, as uh, Anna already uh, told. Um, I worked five years for a public uh, audit company and about 12 years in uh, private, of ours, all the way around, five years in private, 12 years in public. And now, uh, last year, I uh, went to the tax office as a strategic advisor. Uh, last year in the audit department, I did a, a project, a pilot project on a, a simple process. We tried to keep it simple, but uh, to, to, to try and find out whether we, as the auditors, were able to use the process mining tool for our uh, analysis. So the topics you've heard of, segregation of duties, uh, comes around and the completeness of the process. So on, on between the sub-processes, are we losing the data or will it fit together? We uh, tried it all. Uh, my background, I did uh, IT audit, financial audit, also uh, forensic auditing a little bit. So all kinds of things. Uh, because of my background, I look uh, from nature for the risk, so I went to the camp and I found no trails. <laughs> so I think it's safe in here. Uh, but uh, we, uh, I was asked to do, do a specific topic uh, on other trails and uh, find your data in a, in a big data jungle, uh, I called it. Uh, I saw uh, the sailors are uh, popular today. Maybe the, it's the Queen's birthday uh, in England or something. But uh, I want to refer, uh, to keep it simple, uh, 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 one log, and it's from uh, Ferdinand, and he traveled around the world. On the internet, it's, he's called uh, the first one who sailed around the world. Yes. I don't know whether that's true, I didn't audit. Uh, that's aspect of this log. <laughs> but I think everything is in it. Uh, uh, you see one uh, case, eh? one journey. Uh, uh, so the case is simple. We have only one uh, user ID, uh, it's uh, Ferdinand. Uh, we have also a one time uh, stamp, that's the time he died. Dur during his journey, so he didn't finish this journey, so how can he be called the first one to end this journey? Uh, now let's see uh, uh, something about the attributes. He left with uh, 55 uh, crew members on his boat, the Trinidad, and he was with five boats, but only uh, one boat finished, and four men of his crew finished this trip. So, uh, what we wanted to do in our first expedition was to discover the whole world. Uh, and uh, Anna uh, pushed me to choose my goal and to, sh uh, to be focused, but uh, I, di I didn't want it. Uh, I, didn't, uh, I wanted to explore the whole world. And that's uh, quite difficult, I can tell you. <laughs> uh, from one lock to uh, now thousands, millions billions of logs uh, within the tax administration. We have a lot of old systems uh, functioning from, I think, the uh, 60s already, uh, COBOL uh, kits. Uh, uh, we have everything, <laughs> I think. <laughs> when you're talking about old techniques, we are uh, demolishing it out, uh, and we call it demolishing in architecture, so uh, we will get rid of it in a few years, but I think most of the organization that are older, a bit older, uh, has this problem. Uh, we have a, mostly we have systems on the, on the VAT, uh, value added tax, income tax, corporate tax. Uh, no, every every tax you can uh, think about it's in one system. Uh, there's uh, they try to make a system that could handle a lot of uh, uh, taxes, but. It's still one tax, one system. And beside that, there uh, we have the problem that uh, when you look at the process, you have to go through all different kinds of systems. First, you come in, <laughs> uh, 
and it, it uh, may be in a modern way on the web. Yeah, we have a, a web systems also, and filling in your electronic uh, form uh, declaration. Uh, then you go to the client system, you pass the tax system, then you go to the maybe payment system. So all the steps you make, you you go through the different systems. So that that's our challenge to to find uh, the, the trails through these systems. Now most of this organization that have these old kind of uh, IT architectures have these complexity reduction programs, uh, legacy integration projects, data quality projects, now we have them all. <laughs> I don't go into detail, but I want to pinpoint uh, and focus on this 10 minutes now, uh, is the creation of a log and uh, I will focus on uh, maybe a, a wrong route and um, yeah, I think it's good to look at the bloopers uh, <laughs> that we made so you can learn from it. So I will be uh, honest to you. But first I want uh, to look at, at, at how to cultivate this jungle because we are uh, also building on our data uh, quality for this bo in this moment. Uh, we are working on an enterprise data warehouse technique, uh, filling this data warehouse with all the data we have. But in that process, we, yeah, we have to make the steps. Uh, and we did these steps also in our uh, first uh, pilot project from source data, uh, looking at the tables, which tables uh, do you want to use, uh, the data selection, what kind of data out of the tables. And then an important one is the data cleaning. I don't know, is anyone has experience with, with data cleaning? Or maybe low data quality, but most frequent problems you, you cope with? You, you mentioned examples. Missing values, yeah, wrong values, incorrect. Uh, mostly all of them are in it. And then you can choose uh, to delete them, uh, left, left them behind, or replace them. If you are sure, you can replace them with valid uh, values. But what you can also do is uh, looking at, eh, when we saw already uh, the pictures, uh, you can uh, uh, use truncation to get rid of uh, the outliers. And you can do that as uh, Anna will show it uh, to us, uh, I hope, in the, in the Rodeo uh, in a few minutes. I don't know where uh, the bull is, but <laughs> there will be a Rodeo. Uh, you can do it in the filtering of, of, of the tooling. Yeah? It's a disco now, or a prom. Or, but you can also do it in the uh, data already, so the import file. And uh, in my uh, experience, it's good to think about the choice. <laughs> Because the filtering in, in the tooling is also, uh, yeah, sometimes it's difficult. Uh, uh, and it's better to find out this filtering before you put your data into the analy analysis. Uh, and that's what in it also, a transformation of data, the analytics. I'm interested in all kinds of analytics. Uh, I made a step from auditing to uh, the business uh, strategy advisory and um, we are now doing some lean projects and I'm very interested in uh, the value stream mapping from the lean uh, concept. It can be coupled I think, uh, I talked uh, about it with Anna already and I'm very interested so if there's anyone with experience in uh, value stream mapping then please contact me. <laughs> but what I wanted to, to, to pinpoint is and to mention is <coughs> think about the filtering before you start analyzing the data. Now this uh, process we uh, we were examining. Um, it's good to think about what process of steps do you take into account in, uh, with your analysis. Uh, as I told you, we took all of them. <laughs> all activities were uh, taken into the and analyzing the process. Uh, 
we looked whether the data was available for us. Uh, sometimes it's difficult, but most of the data, when you're an auditor, auditor, you have uh, rules that you may see all the data because of your uh, function in the organization. So the, that it take, took some time but because yeah, it's uh, critical privacy uh, also important. So what the question came, what do you want to do with all these data? The only data we didn't uh, receive was uh, the prints from in the end of the process. We, we wanted to see the, the, the printing on the paper to compare them with uh, with the file we sent to the printer, but <laughs> that was a problem. So it was too big also, uh, so we left that behind. And then uh, you have to choose, how we, we have the main process, it's the green one, and there are also always sub-processes uh, for checking bank accounts or clients' uh, data from the main process. Uh. There are some checking process uh, down. Uh, now we took it into account also, as it was possible. <coughs> if it was possible, and in the end, of course, uh, the data of the payments. Uh, in this process, we have to think about uh, how to scope. I told you already, you can choose your process steps and uh, the time you're examining. And yeah, we, <laughs> we did something wrong, I showed it in the... In the Further on in the sheets and slides. What cases to follow? Are you interested in some particular cases or generally examining the process as a whole? Uh, snapshots, queues, you have to be uh, aware of uh, queues in the process because they disturb your uh, process flow. If they take longer than a year, you select a year period brings you all kind of process variances that you don't want to see. Uh, relevance of details. Uh, we also looked at um, um, marital status and the system uh, appeared to check the marital status. And it's, it's not allowed to have more than uh, one partner in the Netherlands. <laughs> but the check normally goes to the client's database, but this in the system it was looking only on the historical data. So it could appear that uh, yeah, one had married again within two years and then, hey, there are three partners. Impossible. And the, the flow was stopped. The system we're talking about, it's, uh, it's a, a system that handles uh, only a, a, a small flow. It's about a compensation plan for extremely high a cost of health with a low income. So it, in the Dutch it's called TBU, uh, Tegemoetkoming uh, Buitengode Uitgaven. And uh, now it's, that was uh, later on and it is renamed and now it's Tegemoetkoming uh, Specifieke Zorgkosten. But uh, although it's a, it's a small system, yeah, eh, that, that it's a, it what was said to be a temporary process, but it's from 2004 till now. It's temporary and it will be temporary. In years, I think, uh, will be an eternal system, maybe. So, uh, when you look at process mining, it can be useful to test your system and uh, detect uh, the completeness of process flows and uh, the parts you have to test on. So, we had one of the uh, IT engineers within our team and for him it was very useful to see all the process flow because of the design of the system. So uh, the, the, most, most of the system documentation was there, we were lucky yeah? and then it was built in uh, 2004 and not in the 60s so we have problems with that too and no, no documentation but here we had the documentation and the fellow was experienced with uh, this system and this and no new design very well. Now, which tables have to choose which timestamps we we use? That there was a question about what do you use in the as timestamp? Five minutes. Okay. 
Uh, we mostly uh, used uh, the uh, rough data fields from the tables inside the system now, because there are no change logs in here. But it's, it's possible, you can do that. Now, uh, I want to discuss uh, three pitfalls. One is scoping the process, so you have to be aware that uh, if you load in all available cases or all activities, it can be difficult to find out well, what's the mainstream. And, uh, mainstream, you can also filter on the frequency table in uh, disco, but you will have problems with finding the mainstream if you have in, in analyzing. And what will happen is that you focus as an auditor also on the things that no, are not looking as the mainstream, and you uh, can analyze in eternity. Because, but it doesn't always uh, gives you more information or good advices for your clients. Uh, I put on the, in, the, in the more smaller bullets. Uh, don't put in cases that didn't uh, start the right way. Uh, you, you will find uh, different kind of input streams. Maybe that, that's possible. And there are also manual uh, inputs later on in the process. And when you put in cases that end in a proper way, and it can be a, a problem with, a, no, I call it garbage in, garbage out rule. And it's, yeah, a lot of time when you focus on that kind of stuff, you find. Uh, scoping time periods, periods uh, we took one year, and then you have a problem already because many of the uh, cases we start before the year and will end uh, after your period. So I think it's better to take look at one moment, which cases do I have in the process, and then take in all your history. And this is the, the most important, I think. Don't try to analyze all your data, because it's impossible. We, uh, in, in, in sense of time, uh, it took us about three, four months to get the data, but after analyzing, there were so much questions. Uh, but, uh, oh, what can it be? Uh, it, w it was for us, it was not impossible to analyze all of the variances out of the process. But we find all, all kind of things, uh, segregation of duties not applied uh, by inputting and checking a bank account, and that kind of thing. So it was very useful for us. Now. Who do you need? Uh, we had our process mining expert, Anna, of course, and Maria was also <coughs> there. <laughs> Don't forget. Uh, business analyst, a database manager, very important, and domain experts. So you have to have domain experts who know what will process, uh, what is used for, and how it functions in detail. And don't forget your tooling. Now, some lessons. Uh, you balance between relevance and availability. Data quality. Yeah. Before impo importing your log file, try to filter. Uh, exploitability. We, uh, we had a lot of activities uh, and a lot of cases. So 300,000 cases and about, uh, I think, 13 activities, 14. And, and uh, when you're putting in the import file, you can... Uh, have performance problems, so maybe it's better to use a test set or a slow or a smaller set or filter your set. And uh, you can can use your findings to improve the IT system if they are rebuild it. And also for the reporting and referring, when you're showing all the uh, the process flows, it's sim simple. It's better to understand for most of the people. I hope to see you at the fire uh, chat. Mm -hmm. Fireside chat. Or maybe there are questions. Thank you. One short question. Someone? Okay. Two short questions. The first is uh, do you try to use to parallelize to uh, your process mining processes? 
in the path, path of your process, for example, transformation or, or filter, filtering. I don't understand your. Can you parallel. explain this? Yeah, parallel? Uh, yeah, you to try to use parallel system to, to accelerate the transformation. Yes, but uh, what we uh, did, huh? what we had huh? to, to check our uh, filtering were uh, normal uh, systems, uh, system outcomes. So you have your uh, checks in the, uh, in the, in the IT uh, environment. Huh? And, and that amounts, uh, when you're looking uh, about uh, between process, sub-processes and, and the checks uh, in it, there are checks already in the, in the IT system, so you can uh, check your uh, process mining with some uh, contra information. You, you mean that or not? Uh, during the processes, for example, you the addition of the, 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 previous, the previous experiences, I used the parallel system to accelerate to the performance of the, to the, performance of the processing. I, su I suggest let's, yeah, we can let's do continue in the break. Chance. It's uh, yeah. only 15 minutes yeah. left. Um, and the last question, do you Second. use, do you use it, uh, this process timing to detect some uh, pattern of the tax fraud? Um, uh, we, no, we, we, we didn't use this uh, technique for, uh, for tax intelligence, huh, we call it, or uh, fiscal intelligence. We only used it now. For, uh, for business intelligence process, uh, operational process uh, mining, yeah. and not for uh, tax intelligence. Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot, Ben. Thank you.